My name is uh, Marie-Jeanne Musiol. I come from Canada, from the French part of Canada, and I have been uh, working in photography for uh, approximately 30 years. I'm a self-taught photographer, and um, I, however, uh, do both photographic work and sometimes interactive work as well. What is presented here, however, is photographic work of an electromagnetic nature. Uh, here in the exhibition Photon Plus, what is represented is a collection of photographs of leaves caught in, a, in an energy field and represented uh, with the, in a collection of uh, light images. Twenty images that represent trees uh, or leaves from trees from the eastern board forest of Canada and uh, trees that are perhaps also well known in Taiwan, maple trees, elm trees, oak, uh, birch, beech, uh, etc. So the trees, uh, the, the leaves themselves represent uh, this uh, this nice collection of uh, of trees, and they also represent the capacity of uh, what could be energy botany. This is a, a concept that I'm trying to develop to show that uh, uh, the botany as we know it has always been descriptive, but perhaps now it can be become uh, energetic and centered on the energy structure. Each leaf in a certain way carries its own imprint, much like a fingerprint, and uh, can be uh, repeated over time. I mean, this is not an artifact, meaning that it is a one-time effect. Uh, the imprints are really imprints, energy imprints of a lasting effect. What changes over time are the nature of the reactions. For instance, when you uh, cut a leaf, there's a very specific reaction. It will uh, fall into the dark, into, into black, for instance. It will lose completely its energy. When we photograph a leaf that has been restored, I mean healed, because we can heal the leaf that is dying or that is dried out by um, uh, magnetizing the leaf or by uh, imprinting it with thought, asking the leaf to come back to its normal or vital energy state and the leaf will respond within about 10 minutes. And I, can, I do usually the before and after uh, effect or comparison and we can actually see the difference. And this has led me to, uh, to begin exploring more and more how thought has a form and how thought imprints matter. And on leaves it's very easy to see how thought has an energy form that can be imprinted directly. And this is perhaps the most, uh, for me, the most striking uh, area of research that I'm uh, pursuing. I also photograph the death of leaves over large periods of time. For instance, it takes usually 72 hours for a leaf to completely die out, and we begin to see uh, the full energy um, uh, image gradually disappearing over time, fading out until there is nothing left, only a black area that is, uh, that is left. And uh, this, is, uh, this is something that can be repeated over and over again. How are these leaves photographed? It's very simple. There is no camera because it, it, we speak of electromagnetic photography, but it's a bit of a misnomer because there is no camera. The leaf is uh, positioned directly over a negative and it's photographed uh, in a certain way. It's a direct contact print that happens. There is a scanning that happens. The negative is scanned. And once the negative is scanned and the details, the very high details are picked up, it is reprinted again on photographic material. Therefore, what we see in the exhibition is really a positive of the negative that was taken initially. So it starts with a, an analog photographic process, goes through the digital interpretation, and comes back to the analog process. And for me, it's very representative. I, I like this process because in a certain way, it uh, synthesizes what we are able to do today with these two methods. And there are two methods not only of uh, printing and of photographic uh, uh, 
a photographic uh, method, but there are also, I think, two ways of seeing, uh, which are now complementary and uh, important. Both have a specific nature. And uh, therefore, electromagnetic photography is really uh, a photography that is uh, done inside electromagnetic fields, inducing a response from the object that is being placed in the field. And it's, uh, it's a very interesting um, uh, scenario because uh, light itself is of electromagnetic nature and therefore this kind of photography expresses basically what life is about and what light is about as well.